Hi everyone, my name is Bettina and I want to show you my latest project. It's called an equivalent series resistance meter for testing capacitors. So, let's get on with it and uh, show you the actual project itself. So I'm hoping I can do this as best as I can. Well, maybe I'll just back up a little bit. You can see I've got two test leads at the bottom and then there's a on and off switch. Don't mind the camera, it's not that great. With a little power LED to tell you whether the lights are the power's on or not. And then of course you've got the big analog meter. So in fact, let me just flip it around here so you can actually see what's underneath it, how I built it. And there's the circuit itself. The, um, the stuff on the left hand side is just a power supply so that's um, uh, just a, uh, I can't even remember, it's 6 volts or 12 volts, I can't remember, and maybe even 9 volt. Uh, supply. I've got uh, just a little transformer with a rectifier and then a capacitor and then a voltage regulator. And the stuff on the uh, right side is actually the circuit itself. Um, I just used a little prototyping board and that transformer by the way is uh, homemade. That was one of my first um, audio frequency type transformers that I had to make. And uh, you buy the cores from a company which I can't even remember anymore and uh, you wind your own uh, transformer and it has to be a ferrite core, it can't be an uh, iron core because what this circuit is going to do, it's going to create an AC um, or a square wave signal uh, which will then be passed through the uh, device under test so you need uh, ferrite because if you had uh, iron core transformer it would just get sucked into the iron and it would never work so anyway that's the uh, basics of it and what I'll do is um, I'll show you uh, on the um, YouTube channel there, I'll, I'll give you the uh, web page where you can um, find the schematic and stuff like that because I use somebody, else des somebody else's design. So anyway, you can see that the scale is, uh, or maybe you can't, but uh, it goes from zero ohms on the right hand side all the way over to infinity. However, just above infinity is 20 ohms. So you can gauge by this meter that we're not testing high resistance, which um, you would normally see on uh, ohmmeter or something like that. We are just interested in uh, up to 20, 25 ohms or something like that and I'll tell you how we um, test capacitors. Um, I made that little uh, faceplate in the back. I, that was an old meter that I had sitting around and I um, I just scaled it using some reference values and um, printed it out on the computer and just kind of glued it in there. So it looks pretty professional I think. Alright, so what we're going to do, I have two capacitors, in fact I have more than two, I've got three. However, I've got um, two of the same uh, capacitance value. Uh, it's a 100 microfarad capacitor at 35 volts. And one is good and one is bad. So let's check a good capacitor out first. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook up the capacitor to the two leads that uh, feed the meter. And what we're expecting is practically zero ohms because let's think about it. If you sent uh, an AC signal uh, through a capacitor, you would expect it to get through um, at a, to a certain value. Of course, there's a cutoff and all that kind of stuff, but uh, you would expect it to go through. And that's why you'll see uh, capacitors on the output of speakers and such. They're in series because they'll let the um, audio signal go through. However, they will not let DC through. So capacitors block DC. I think we all know that from basic electronics. So what we're measuring here is the resistance through the capacitor and what we're looking for is a very low value as such. So I guess I'm reading about a half an ohm or something like that at this point. So I would consider that good. And you know there is really no uh, defined gauge. I mean I could probably create one but I'm not going to bother. Uh, I just know whether it's good or bad. That's, that's essentially what I'm looking for. So to me this is a good capacitor. It's a used capacitor granted but it's, it's fairly good. I mean, if we had something like zero ohms, I'd be even more happier, but let's hook up a bad capacitor. So, off goes that capacitor, and on goes the bad capacitor. And the bad capacitor, oh, well, that's that. We are reading about 11 ohms. That's bad. We do not want to see that, so therefore we know the resistance or the uh, AC resistance of this capacitor is bad. However, sometimes what will happen is um, when you test these capacitors on uh, capacitance meters, checking purely for capacitance, 
you will see them as good sometimes. And what I'm going to try to demonstrate here is um, I'm going to use one of my store-bought um, uh, LCR meters and I'm going to test the capacitance of the bad one and see what kind of capacitance we get. And like I said, it's 100, uh, 100 microfarad. Okay, well this capacitor is reading bad altogether, so it's actually reading 22 microfarad when it should be uh, 100. Um, but sometimes what you'll find is capacitors are, are they, they check fine on a capacitance meter. You'll see it close to the, um, to the value printed on it. However, when you check the uh, resistance of it, the AC resistance, you'll see that it's bad. So this is very, very important uh, meter for testing, especially if you're in the repair um, uh, part of the business, uh, just to check capacitors. And I know it's going to be impossible to actually see this, but this capacitor here, uh, it's going to be impossible. i got a, just a little flip video camera here. You can't see it. But the top of that capacitor is actually bulging out a little bit. Um, and you'll notice that uh, on bad capacitors especially. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you're repairing any uh, type of circuits. Uh, first thing you should do is just check for any bulging capacitors and if you do, pull them out. If you can test them, test them. If not, just replace them. So anyway, that's my ESR meter. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll uh, put a, uh, a URL on my uh, YouTube video where you can find the um, originator of the design and you can make your own. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.